Yo. Just got out of the hostel. That cheese hostel. It's quite nice actually. Um, with the other four people in a room, so it's not really that bad because it's not crowded too much. But yeah, slept pretty well. Um, the hostel's got a nice little kitchen, so it's nice that you don't need to like go and buy breakfast or whatever. So you've got littles just over the street. So just go get like some pancakes or whatever. So that's why I had. I just had pancakes and some peanut butter and jam. So work really well really full now just gonna go explore the city got like a small route planned out um, we'll see how it goes it's quite windy today but looks like it's gonna be still a warm and a nice day unlike yesterday so yeah let's we'll see what Amsterdam is about once again it's so hard to control the bike without the bags on it it just feels so out of balance now like every tiny little turn is just so impactful now when you get used to the bags bags are more stable than not bags <laughs> Doing a quick rest stop. It's like a nice park. And just thinking what else to see. Um, there's still a few places left to go, I think. Um, but yeah, getting quite hungry now. So I'll stop for snacks. And um, I think I'll go get that Dutch herring thing. Apparently, something you have to try when you're in Amsterdam. So might as well getting hungry and I really don't mind herring so we'll see how that goes just need to find a place now for it we are so far Amsterdam is really beautiful with all the little alleyways and um, canals and bridges to go across and all the old buildings and it's so easy to cycle everywhere it looks like there's priority for cyclists above everyone like above pedestrians and above cars it's just like Cyclists can go pretty much anywhere, anytime. So yeah, so far so good.
just got to the food hall, parked the bike in the Netherlands, well in Amsterdam, we even got underground cycle parking. You won't see that much of anywhere else. That's the Dutch classic. Um, raw herring with onions and pickles. We'll see how it goes. It's not pickled herring at all, like it's like just raw fillet. So we'll see. Hopefully, it won't get sick. So we just got out of the food hall where I had the traditional Dutch thing. Uh, apparently, it's salted herring and uh, just in a bun with raw onions and pickles. That's quite nice. Um, I'm more used to pickled herring or like marinated herring, but salted herring is quite nice as well. Nice and soft. So yeah, it weren't bad at all. Although seven euros might be a bit much for what you get for a bit of raw herring in a in a bun. Still, it ticks the box. Now I'm going to try to get to the ferry, get across one of the rivers and uh, play this, some nice places to see there as well. Bro, when you see this with your own eyes, like how many spikes are here, it's mad. Like, how do you even find your bike after you park it? <laughs> Jeez. Goes the... I mean, yeah, you can't avoid scuff marks and scratches in this place. Someone's death is almost always gonna kick your bike or accidentally lock your bike. <laughs> Jeez. I think I've cycled most of Amsterdam already. So I'm gonna make my way to back to the hostel through Wester Park. Cycle around the park a bit and then back to the hostel. I'm gonna have a look at getting some dinner and then maybe getting out a bit more in the evening. Um, also my laundry's done so I'm gonna pack some of that already. Yeah. Amazing place. We also have these apparently little houses in Wester Park where people just live in the city but like in the park in these little almost like shed summer houses and yeah live in Amsterdam but also live in the countryside so just got back to the hostel um, just gonna chill out for a bit get something to eat uh, try to squeeze in another video and then probably go exploring again in the evening but yeah, for now really great impressions 
So I just got out with my bike again to see what it looks like in the evening. I'm gonna meet up with some of my friends, have a couple drinks. Um, I'm gonna try to see what the red light district's looking like and just in general what it, everything looks like with all the um, lights on. So yeah, let's see Amsterdam by the evening. leave Amsterdam at all, just drop a few final words. It's, yeah, amazing place. It's just got so good vibes all around. Everyone's so, so chilled and friendly. And also everyone here seems to mind their own stuff. Everyone's doing their own thing and just everyone's weird in its own way. But everyone just lives together fine. And also the whole thing like with the cyclists and the cars and the people is chaos, but it somehow works. And it's weird to see that cyclists got a priori priority over everything. So yeah, definitely is a cycling capital. But yeah, yesterday still went out in the evening to see my friends, just had a drink. Uh, went around the town a bit, went to the red light district, see what that's all about. Just, you know, to tick the box. Um, yeah, in Amsterdam evening, looks even better than the day. So I highly recommend if you're ever here to do one trip in a day and one trip in the evening because the whole nightlife just looks really so great. So I can't wait to come back here in the future. Um, and yeah, just see uh, without the bicycle obviously and just do more of a party trip around Amsterdam and Netherlands. For now, up you go.